Good afternoon, class. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about Thomas Jefferson's legacy. And wow, what, did, uh, what an interesting and complex legacy he really has left us. Uh, one interesting thing is that for Jefferson, the consequences of history, historical writing, uh, ran deep. Uh, Jefferson understood and knew uh, that the things he did, the things he said and wrote, um, would leave a lasting impact on the country and his legacy. Jefferson uh, was reflecting on his involvement in the Declaration of Independence, and he said that he did not consider it part of my charge to invent new ideas altogether and to offer no sentiment which had ever been expressed before. I know only that I turned to neither book nor pamphlet while writing it. Jefferson was clear, though, while he did not invent new ideas for the Declaration of Independence, uh, he did not turn to aid in writing it. He wanted to give credit where credit was due, both uh, and be honest about the ideas he pulled from, uh, but also that it was his hand that wrote it. Moving on from the Declaration of Independence, Jefferson was even more proud of his involvement of the Virginia Statute for Establishing Religious Freedom. Uh, he had to fight hard for this. In fact, he had to fight against such people that opposed uh, uh, the bill that he proposed. Uh, he, he fought against such men as uh, Patrick Henry. And we know that it was from this document that we would end up with the uh, First Amendment to the Constitution of the United States. Uh, this has been tremendous in establishing religious and intellectual freedom uh, for those of us that live under the Constitution. The image of Jefferson as the Apostle of Freedom was very powerful during the 1940s. Indeed, the era indeed the era we can see is the age of Jefferson monuments. In 1938, the United States Mint introduced a new nickel coin with Jefferson's profile. On the, ob on the opposite side uh, was Monticello. Uh, in 1941, the massive sculpture monument to Jefferson as well as Washington, Lincoln, and Theodore Roosevelt, was completed on Mount Rushmore in South Dakota. Jefferson uh, has been mildly known uh, for his contributions to this religious and uh, intellectual freedom. Here it says that Jefferson was both the foremost expositor of human freedom and equality in the 18th century America and the owner of a pro of approximately 600 African slaves over the course of his lifetime. This apparent contradiction, more than anything, has contributed to the decline of Jefferson's reputation. So, while Jefferson has been known for his contributions to all that is good in our religious freedom, uh, to writing things in the Declaration that, you know, all men have been created equal, he has been criticized then for his use and, and ownerships of slaves. Yet, as you dig deeper into his view of slavery, again, it is more complex. Uh, even at the end of his life, uh, which again adds to the complexity, Thomas Jefferson has freed Sally Hemings' children. Not Sally Hemings herself, but at least her children were freed, uh, some just before his death and the, the rest after his death. Uh, Jefferson's you know, his legacy was uh, was definitely tarnished by his ownership of slaves, as have a lot of the uh, Founding Fathers' reputations. Uh, but I would suggest that as for Jefferson's legacy, that it is both rich and complex, that we need to attempt to look at Jefferson and see him for what he was. He was a man who helped establish intellectual freedom and, uh, and freedom of worship, freedom of religion. Yet, he was a man, like all of us. We need to recognize the things that he gave to society and, and his contributions as good, but also recognize that he was a man that lived within his own time and that our society has changed a lot since the 18th century. Thomas Jefferson's legacy is, is rich. It is complex. Uh, he contributed greatly, um, and there are certainly some things that, that he can be uh, criticized for. Uh, however, I would suggest that we look at him for what he was, a man who contributed greatly to our society. And also recognize that in a five-minute video, we cannot begin to scratch the surface of this conversation. Thanks.